Hello. We're going to look at fractions today. Hopefully you can see that all right in my makeshift classroom. Maybe if I prop it up a little bit more. All right. We're going to look at fractions today. Now, you might have heard of fractions in places like basketball games with quarter time and half time, three quarter time, like football. Um, you might have heard of them if you're doing some baking with mum or dad uh, with the half cup, quarter cup, one third cup. Uh, or you might have heard of fractions through the clocks, quarter past, quarter two and half past. So fractions are in lots of different places. Okay, so we're gonna have a look at a couple of different types of fractions as we go through in the next couple of weeks. An example of how some have written is his one half, one quarter and one eighth. Okay, so let's have a look at one half to start with. So this is one half written here. Okay, one line two. All right, these all have special names, but we'll worry about them later. Okay, and one half just means one out of two parts. Okay, so you've got one out of two parts. Now, in fractions, there can be a whole. You can take fractions of a whole and fractions of a collection. What I mean by fractions of a whole is you might have, so fractions of a whole, let's stick with one half. You might have a circle, okay? And if I want half of that circle, cut it exactly down the middle so they're equal parts. I'm gonna shade that in, okay? There's one half of a whole. If I get a piece of paper, okay? All right, got a piece of paper. I might fold it in half. These are fractions of a whole, because it's a whole sheet of paper, okay? There it is, folded in half. Here's one half on this side, and here's one half on this side. So there's half a sheet of paper. When you put it back together, it's two halves, which is the whole sheet of paper. Okay, so there's a whole. I might run and get an orange. And cut it in half. Okay, so I have my orange, and I'm just gonna cut it with my knife in half. So this is a whole orange cut in half. You might notice it's a mandarin. I thought I had oranges. Okay, so there's half a mandarin, one half here, one half here. Back together, there's two halves, which is one whole. But this is a whole, okay? So we're looking at fractions of a whole. That's half of a whole. This is half of a whole, and this is half of a whole. All right, let's look at fractions of a collection. If I have two pencils, okay, here's a collection of two pencils, and I have one of them, I have half the pencils, okay, half the pencils. One out of two parts. If I have four dots, okay, ties in with division. So for one half, we're looking at one half of this collection of four. I need to break it into two parts. There we go, I've broken it into two groups. And here's one of those groups. So half of four is two. There's one half of four. Let's have a look at a different collection. Let's say it's a collection of 12. Okay, I'll do 12 triangles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. All right, I need to put these into two groups, okay? So I'm gonna break them into two parts now, two parts. I'm gonna have one of them. Let's see what one half of 12 is. So to do that, I need to put them into two equal groups. Okay? It's like dividing by two, okay? Putting them into two groups. And I need one of them. One half of 12 is one, two, three, four, five, six, okay? So the thing that I want you to remember today is there's two ways we're gonna look at to break things into fractions, okay? There is fractions of a whole, okay? And there's fractions of a collection, just like this, all right? So what I'm gonna do after this is I'm gonna run you through the booklet for this week, the fraction booklet, and I'll talk you through the different pages. Okay, I don't need to find where the camera is here. Hello, no, it's here, hi. All right, I'll talk you through the booklet.